first, fast, accurate. You're watching WSBT 22 News at 5.30. And new at 5.30, action tonight to clean up a contaminated factory site. Now, the EPA is looking at the old Johnson Control site in Goshen. The current property owners agreed to tear it down and clean it up, a 13-acre site more than three years ago. And while the buildings are gone, the debris was never carted away. The owners declared bankruptcy. WSBT 22's Ed Ernstis reports the city asked the EPA for help after concern about potential asbestos contamination. The piles of debris remain right where they were left several years ago after demolition work was completed. A recent inspection showed more than a third of the samples taken there contained asbestos. This site is owned by a private property owner and it's gone through bankruptcy, so the city doesn't have any um, ability to go onto the site and clean it up ourselves. Stutzman recently reached out to IDEM and the EPA. The EPA told him they'd send a team to conduct on-site tests very soon. If they, they do confirm the, the asbestos issue, they're going to immediately uh, mobilize to fence the area, so to protect it from public getting in there, and also tarp the entire area to contain it until they can get it cleaned up. The Environmental Protection Agency could be in Goshen as early as next week to help with ongoing efforts to clean up the 13-acre site that once held the old Johnson Controls Company. He is now in touch with a top EPA staffer. And their test results will determine if this becomes a Superfund site, um, but he said if, if it does come back positive that it will most likely become a Superfund site and we should see it cleaned up by, by early summer. We've been anxious to get the site cleaned up. There's no question about that. It's uh, gone on for a long period of time. We have large piles of debris there on the site that needs to be cleaned up. Um, we've expressed concern. We've known that there was potential for environmental problems. The original Johnson Controls plant here used to manufacture electrical switches using TCE as a degreaser. It was sold to Tucon Holdings in 2007 for use as a fiberglass plant and stayed open till 2010. At Ernstis, WSBT 22 News. Uh, tonight on WSBT 22 News at 11, Patrick Roth will tell us about another issue connected to this site, potential water contamination. They are